Okay, we're getting down uh, to the nitty gritty on. Uh, on uh, our piece here um, we're just going to take these legs and now when you get to the um, front of the legs just kind of just lightly point them just a little bit like I did this one in other words just sort of point them just to kind of give an indication of the uh, the hoofs, nothing drastic, just like that, kind of just kind of, yeah, just like that on these pieces, in other words, just a little. I give that little indication right there. Just about getting through with our our piece here. Seeing the head, how it looks, and I made intentions for where the horns are going to go. We've got most of just about all the saw marks off of it. Back here it's looking good. A little bit off there. So the piece is really, really starting to I mean it's really looking good. It really is. I mean, uh now of course we get the uh I know right now you say, well, but, uh, you know, we, we've still got to clean it up, and we'll sand it a little bit, in other words. But uh, as far as the carving is concerned on the piece, it's really, really looking good. Now, what we're going to do is I'll go and I'll see the horns. It's hard to kind of see the horns on this one but they extend out like this in other words and I'll go cut the horns out and I think I'm going to use basswood for that because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make the horns now what happens is uh, butternut when, when it when it uh, you put a, a finish over it, it turns a, uh, like a walnut color and then if we put the horns as a basswood um, wish I had some maple but I don't um, then it will look uh, really look good. So I have the white horns and the um, the um, butternut uh, and just sort of clean it up. We're looking dandy on this thing, as we might say. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to um, cut out the horns. Get those saw marks out of there. I always have a few left cut out the horns and then we're going to carve those and and put that in here and I've got a little uh, tell you nothing you can take your little uh, kind of clean this up take your little uh, uh, gouge kind of clean that up in there in other words <sighs> now that these will require a little bit of sand in other words just a little bit because you have a um, 
course, I like the knife marks in them. I don't like to make anything uh, real smooth. I like the knife marks in them. But we'll see. I'll see what looks best. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. As far as, see the legs? See that? You take a little bit more off in here. Straighten that out in there. Those are the little things you just kind of... But as far as the legs and everything like that, we're, uh, we're looking good. Take a little bit off more in here. Just to uh, shape it a little bit better. But we're looking, looking pretty darn good on them. Okay. Well, let me, uh, let me go cut out the, the horns, and uh, that'll be the uh, next thing we're going to be doing. Uh, okay. There's our, uh, there's our bull. And like I said, this is abstract. It's not, there's not detail. We don't put eyes on it or anything like that. It's strictly abstract. And a lot of people like to do this kind of carving. They like to make things for the mantel pieces and stuff like that. And, uh, this is one of them. Okay.